Hi, today we are here previewing the Super Bowl matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles. Before we talk about the Super Bowl, we must talk about Tom Brady's retirement. This was somewhat unexpected and will definitely shake up the league as the Buccaneers are back to normal and are now in complete poverty once again. Also, teams like the Raiders and 49ers now have to figure out their quarterback situation as Brady is no longer on the market. So, Zach, with Brady's retirement, we must start to ask, is Mahomes on, on path to be as good or better than Brady? Yeah, definitely. With Mahomes' past, his whole career, and five straight AFC championships, like, he's setting himself up to be better than Brady. And right now, like, he's been proving that he's the best quarterback. And ever since he's entered the league, nobody's been better than him. And as of now, no one's even close to him. Like, you look at this season and his game against the Bengals, like, he's playing on one leg and he did what he did. Yeah. Like, he's a special player and I know he's one and one in the Super Bowl, but if he wins this and has two Super Bowls at the age that he is, like, he's still so young to per surpass Brady. And, yeah, I think Mahomes will be better than Brady all time. Yeah, I agree. I think it'll be a LeBron and Jordan type situation, you know, seven – Super Bowl rings is very hard to come by, but I think if Mahomes has four, he'll even be in the argument just because of his stats and how talented he is. Yeah, and LeBron just passed Kareem's all-time scoring list. Like, we're yeah. talking about goats here. Mahomes, he could pass him soon. You never know. Yeah. So now on to the Super Bowl. Great matchup. We have a high-powered passing offense of the Chiefs and the high-powered running offense of the Eagles. The game spread is very close with the Eagles at slight favorites with minus 1.5 favorites and the over-under set at 50.5. The Eagles opened at minus 2.5, but it's now 1.5, so what does that tell? We don't know. And the over-under opened at 49, which is now 51. I think this is a very fair line. Both teams are great offenses, great quarterbacks, and it should be a high-scoring game, but you never know. These defenses are good. So, Drew, what is your pick for this game? You know, my favorite pick is the Chiefs plus 1.5. You know, Mahomes, he's just such a good player, and I really just can't bet against him. So also with that, I like the over in this game as, as the Eagles defense. They haven't had much of a test in this playoffs and all season, really. You know, they played the Giants and then the 49s without a quarterback. So I think the over and the chief spread is the pick in this game. Yeah, I definitely like what you're thinking here. Mahomes, he's special, and... These teams got to score points. I know they're both good defenses, but the quarterbacks and the offenses will carry and overwork these defenses. So let's get into some key players. We already know how good Mahomes is, but will Jalen Hurts step up to the equation? Like, we don't know what he can do. At Alabama, Jalen Hurts, in his first big game, he was benched in the national championship after the first half, and it was horrible. Tua actually came in to lead them to a comeback win. So... How does this change your thoughts on Hurts in games when they matter most? You know, I feel like Hurts is a changed person this year. Like, the Eagles are a great team, so he hasn't really had to do much. And I do think he actually will struggle in this game, though. Like, last game was the 49ers. Hurts was 15 for 25 with 121 yards and no touchdowns. Like, he basically had to do nothing last game and prove nothing. So it's going to be a real test for Hurts. He's definitely going to have to score and make a lot of key plays in this game. So, Zach, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, Hurts, he's good. He, 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 at one point, he was the MB, MVP favorite before he got hurt during this season. Like, yeah. I thought he was going to win it, but then he got hurt, and now, I don't know, can he be the same quarterback he was in, early in the season? I don't know. The Eagles started off undefeated. They were the only undefeated team all season until they lost. But when Jalen Hurts went down, the team looked different. So, if he goes down at any point in this game, they will struggle. So, he needs to make sure he can stay healthy and come up to the stage. It'll definitely be interesting to see, yep. So as I said, Hurts did absolutely nothing versus the 49ers, throwing for 15 for 25 with 121 yards and no touchdowns. This has been somewhat of a theme for the Eagles throughout some games this season. Their run game and offensive line and roster is just so good, and Hurts a lot of times doesn't have to do much to dominate games. Yeah, Hurts is the best offensive line in the league, great weapons, A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. A.J. Brown has 1,500 yards and 11 touchdowns. Devontae Smith with 1,200 yards and seven touchdowns. This will definitely be an interesting matchup, and the Chiefs' weak secondary is going to definitely have to step up big in order for them to win this game. Lastly, for the Eagles, we must talk about the run game that has dominated the league throughout this entire season. 
led by their great offensive line and running back Miles Sanders, who has posted 1,270 yards and 11 touchdowns this year. The Chiefs will definitely have a tough job on their hands on defense. So, Zach, do you think the Chiefs can stop this dominant run attack? Yeah, I mean, it's hard. Like, this Eagles offense, and their, especially their running game, is crazy good. And they dominated against the 49ers, which is said to be one of the best defenses in the NFL. So, the Chiefs really have to approach this game like they have to stop the run and make them force them to pass the ball. But especially Jalen Hurts' ability to run, like, yeah. he can get out the pocket and just move anywhere. So... I mean, it's going to be tough for the Chiefs, but they have to get it done. Yeah, I think they're going to definitely commit to the run this game. A lot of teams have done it, but just make, trying to make Jalen Hurts as uncomfortable as possible, dropping back as a pocket passer, definitely what the Chiefs game plan is most likely going to be. Yeah, now on to the Chiefs, who have a banged-up offensive as recent. And Clyde is coming back this Sunday, but who knows what he will do. Guys like Isaiah Pacheco have stepped up, and... Also, Kadarius Toney and Juju Smith-Schuster are both going to be playing this Sunday, who both were ruled out during the Bengals game. So that's a huge for the Chiefs. And Mahomes himself, I think he is enough to win this game for the Chiefs, but the return of these weapons will help a lot, and it gives this Chiefs team a better chance to win this game. Mahomes is 5,250 passing yards on the year, 41 touchdowns, and he's special. Like... He only has 12 interceptions on the year, which looks like a lot, but for the amount he throws, and he's the best quarterback in the NFL, that shouldn't really matter that much. And the loss of Tyreek Hill was said to be one of the biggest things in the offseason for the Chiefs, but they're back in the Super Bowl, and people are stepping up when they need to. Like last game, Marcus Valdez-Scantling went for over 100 yards after all the receivers went down. Like People are going to step up when it matters most, and Travis Kelsey, especially him, like, this is, where, this is the stage for him. I know he's playing against his brother, and it means a lot, but all he cares about is the Super Bowl. And he's proved the haters wrong and put up 110 receptions this year, 1,000 yards, and 12 touchdowns. So, Drew, how, do you feel with all this Chiefs injured receivers these past few weeks, Kelsey is going to have another career game in the Super Bowl, or will the Eagles try and shut him down and make Mahomes throw to the receivers? I think it's going to be an interesting matchup. The Eagles have great rushing linebackers, and it's really impossible for any linebacker in this league to cover Kelsey. I, I think he's going to dominate again. I mean, like you saw last game versus the Eagles, he does a lot of unique things, Kelsey. You know, sometimes he blocks and goes out for a pass. Sometimes he just cooks a linebacker on a post route or corner route. Kelsey can do everything. I think he's going to dominate this Eagles team. Okay, so um, now... Our predictions. Zach, who do you have in this matchup? As we said earlier, I have the Chiefs. It's just too hard to be against Mahomes in these types of games. Like, he's the best quarterback, and as I said earlier, I think he will end his career as the best quarterback of all time, and this is a big game for that. And if he can win this game, it's a huge statement. But, yeah, the Chiefs team is just so good, and I know they're not home, but that doesn't really matter. Like, I know they're not in the cold weather, but it's Mahomes. He's special. He's the best quarterback in the league. So I think the Chiefs get it done. I agree. I like the Chiefs in this matchup just from the quarterback standpoint. Mahomes is just too good to – I think he's just going to win the game. He's just too good. And also the fact that the Eagles have had no tests. I think they're going to start out slow in this game, probably go down a possession or two, and then be chasing all game. And – it's, you know, with their dominant rushing attack, it's hard to go down in the game because the Eagles like to go up and just waste a lot of the time. Yeah, and also, you know, the Eagles, they've played the Giants and the 49ers with no quarterback, and that blinded Jalen Hurts' horrible performance. And, I mean, their defense, like, it's been great this year, but, I mean, when you face two, like, like a team with Christian McCaffrey at quarterback and then the mediocre Giants, it's not hard to look good, so I think Mahomes is going to humble them. Yeah, definitely. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching.